guys ready? Oh, we're waiting for DVI? What? Yeah. That, no, it's DVI. Jesus. You people call yourself geeks? Don't you have... <laughs> Presentation's on the one that you don't have the adapter for, sir. That, that's not an adapter. You, you've had a Mac before, right? You're familiar with the fact that everything that comes out of that isn't standard and you need a little adapter for it? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Is someone getting one for you? Does anyone have the Mac DVI to VGA adapter no, on them? And that's what it's a thank you. Good Lord. All right, exile for the win. <sighs> Newbies. Newbies. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> you can tell he's all dressed up with a tuxedo. <laughs> oh, it started. Depth perception fail. Um. Oh, <laughs> I'm out. I'm out. Good luck, guys. Work. Can you hear me? I'm sure you will. <laughs> All right, so apparently the room's not quite full. We lost some of the people to the GSM talk, so we're just going to have to be louder than them. Right. So, um, it's not louder. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we've got AirDrop NG. Um, I got bored, decided to write a Wi Fi tool, and this is what came out. So, skip to the next slide. Who are we? I'm the exile, he's King Tuna, we're no one important, move along citizen. So, what are we doing here? Got a new tool and it allows you to facilitate client control through the unencrypted management frames. So we're gonna go ahead and demonstrate some of the uses for it, show some of the money in the middle attacks, generally have some fun. So we've all used tools like Air Replay, MDK3, Void11. So I now give you Airdrop NG. Airdrop NG is like these tools, but much more fun. Rules are the new sliced bread. Now with enriched vitamin Pwn. The reason why this is so much more fun is you can do fun things like kick one client and leave all the other ones alone, allow yourself to talk to an access point, and allow no one else to talk to that access point. Lots and lots of fun, many, many uses. So, I'm sorry? So, requirements. We've got AeroDump NG, we've got Lorcon 1, mainly because there isn't any Python bindings for Lorcon 2 yet, we're working on that. Minimum one wireless card, possibly two. And if you want some speed, install Psycho. So when it comes down to writing rules, rules are written down, uh, broken down into three fields. We've got our action field, we've got our AP field, and we've got our client field. So two options for the state field. Uh, actually, actually, be uh, action field there, a little bug. Yeah, the five options for the AP field, five options for the client field. Gives you 50 different possible rule types. All sorts of fun to be had. So when you break down into the action, you either have allow or deny. Real simple, not too hard. All right. So when you get to the rule field, you got to allow and deny. So let's go ahead and give a scenario here. Very, very simple rules. Rules for slow night of drinking. We want to allow any beer, deny any liquor. So your rule would be allow beer any, deny liquor me. So the AP field. AP field a little bit different. You can do kicks based on ESSID, BSSID, a company OUI name or numeric value, and by name I mean you can either type in Apple computer, 
Um, if you've ever looked at the OUI file, and I'll use Apple for example just because I hate them, they're in the OUI file about 12 different times. There's Apple Computer, there's Apple Comma Computer, there's Apple Computer Corporation, they're all over the place. So I actually do some regex maxing, make it a little bit easier. We'll get into that later. You can also do the numeric value. You can kick based on a single OUI. It allows you to do some other fun things. And you can kick based on any. So let's go into our scenario here. You want to kick any clients connecting to a particular wireless network. Uh, we use Brondo for an example. So target ESS ID of Brondo. Solution, deny Brondo any. Nice, clean, simple, very easy to do. Lots of fun. We go into the client field, and this is where it gets really fun. So we can kick based on MAC address. We can kick on multiple MAC addresses. You can just provide them in a list, delineate them with a comma. You can do the same OUI company name. You can do the same OUI numeric value, or you can kick based on any. So scenario here, we want to deny access to Sparkle Motion for everyone but my wireless card and allow access to another point that I am hosting. So we allow one client to talk to the Sparkle Motion access point. We allow anyone to talk to our access point. <laughs> And then we say, deny any, any, which means nobody can talk to anyone but what we specify. So rules are based on uh, the vendor name and the regex, and I kind of alluded to this earlier. Um, this is more getting into the advanced type of rules that you can write. So we've got a valid rule set of uh, an OUI to an any, a Apple Inc to an any, which is actually a valid name in the OUI file, or my personal favorite, deny any Apple to any Apple, have fun with your access points now, or uh, allow anyone to talk to a Sony. So when it comes to writing rules, I ran into a lot of issues as I was coding this, and so the birth of debug mode. Debug mode, if you throw the dash B flag, will actually print out all of your rule matching to the screen, and it'll try to give you an idea of why it's kicking a particular client. Um, relatively easy to use. I apologize, it's a little hard to read on the screen. You guys can download the uh, presentation later and take a look at it there. So now that you guys kind of understand how it works, let's put all the pieces together. This is obviously somebody who had way too much time on their hands. Getting to the basic usage here. Um, we've got uh, dash I for the interface card, T for the data file. Um, one of the caveats to AeroDump is, uh, or sorry, AirDrop, is the fact that it relies on AeroDump. It stems from the fact that I'm too lazy to write a viable sniffer. So we just parse their uh, CSV file. Um, you can disable Psycho if you don't want it with the dash P option. You provide your rules with dash R. You can automatically update the OUI file with uh, dash U. Um, anyone who's familiar with Lorcon, it tries to uh, require you to uh, use the drivers. So I allow you to spec <laughs> specify it on the command line here. Um, by default, it uses Mac 802.11. Slow down. All right, all right, all right, I'll slow down. Dude, I apologize to the internet. <laughs> ah! So, slowing down just a little bit. <laughs> we done now? Uh, we're fucking him up. Yeah. So, we'll go ahead. We'll throw, uh, start. Yeah. No, no throw. All right, so we'll go ahead, we'll throw our card into a monitor mode. In this case, we're just using Arrow, uh, Airmon, very easy to use. Next slide there. Well, output CSV, but whatever. Yeah, yeah, you definitely want to output to the CSV. It does not read PCAPs. I may fix that at a later date. It depends on how many people complain. Um, so we've all seen Arrow Dump, nothing new. Uh, sample rule file, in this case, we are denying any, any. And the reason why you have to do this is Arrow Dump oh, allows AirDump allows, or, or sorry, wow, I keep calling it AirDump. AirDrop allows all clients by default. So if you don't throw a deny any any rule in there, it's just not going to do anything. No rules equal no fun. So running it with this rule, and we actually have debug mode turned on here, so you can go ahead and see what's going on. It's matching each one of the clients, and go ahead and uh, sending a kick. It's smart in the fact that it knows whether or not to send uh, deauth packets to the broadcast. And it does that based on uh, deciding whether or not you are allowing any clients to talk to that particular access point. And if you are, it will not send broadcast packets to it. So uh, 
debug mode on, one of my personal favorite rules. Ben wrote the program to simply say, fuck you to Apple, and, you know, but. <laughs> he felt left out. What can I say? So, another great rule, deny Apple any. Lots of fun. Moving on. So, logging. Because anyone who actually runs this will realize that that stuff scrolls across the screen very, very, very quickly. So, throw the dash L option along with the dash B option. You can get a great idea of what's going on. It'll go ahead and create a logs directory in whatever your local running directory that you're in and write a nice little timestamp file out for you. Apparently, I'm still talking too fast. I apologize. So, logging. That's the dash L file. L as in llama. Switch out to uh, logging, like I said, creates working directory. <laughs> Very easy to use. So, now that we, uh, just to show you example what a log file looks like, go ahead and uh, at the top there, there's a timestamp, just states that it's a log file, and then it basically redirects SD out and SD error directly into a file. Relatively simple, pretty easy to use. So, let's go ahead and get some people off. You about ready there, Tuna? Uh, apparently, we're running to some slight technical difficulties here. Apparently, we did not sacrifice to the gods of live demos. As we learned last night, good old karma access points tend to uh, make things puke. Yeah, there's a minor bug going on here. Bear with us a second here, folks. Just uh, talk about it. <laughs> yeah, um, well, you should have seen me earlier here in the week as I realized that uh, a few feature updates that I decided I wanted to add late in the game broke everything. Um, yeah, loads of fun. So, in theory, if I was actually able to get this work at this point in time, we'd start AeroDump, or uh, start up AeroDump, start up AeroMon, get our card into monitor mode. We'd create a rule file with a deny any Apple. So we are now kicking any Apple client off of any access point. Yes, loads of fun. We good? Yeah. All right. Some, some network boom in there, but it don't work. Let's see if we can cause some panics here by switching over to this computer. Eh, it doesn't seem to be doing anything. Possibly. Maybe. Yeah, so we dance for 30 seconds. And we got some screwballs. Take it off. Come on. <laughs> Throw balls at him to put it back on, please. All right, you can check that out on YouTube later. Again. <laughs> Is that 30 seconds? It seems like 30 seconds. Nah, it doesn't seem to be working. We got this shit working. Make the screen work. Eh, hook it back up to the slides. Give me a second, huh? <laughs> this is. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, possibly. I've got 1024 by 768. Come on. Possibly, please. Oh, oh. Hey! Yeah. App success! However, it still seems that we're, uh... There we go. <laughs> go ahead, you try running it again there. No, I just gotta make the window a lot smaller. Whee! All right. Cool. All right, so as you see here... Microphone. Microphone. Yeah, check. As you see here, we have our nice Python airdrop, whatever, and uh, we've got our monitor interface. We've got two interfaces set up, one for sniffing and one for injection. Um, two interfaces aren't required, but of course it makes it more fun. Since I worked at a wireless company, interfaces are not that hard. Um, with the dash T option, we have our arrow dump file, <coughs> B for debug mode, L for logging, and then our rules file, which is fun rules. Um, let's switch over to some kill Apple rules for more fun. Uh, we'll do the allow Apple's rule for Ben. I hate you. Oh, and puke! <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right, so I promise you that is not common. <laughs> it's just with Apple's, see, you know, it's okay. Um, right here we have a deny any, any rule, um, and then we're also allowing an access point that's not connected, and we'll go ahead and kick packets. Uh, 
which we're still running into slight technical difficulties, but we'll deal with this later. I promise. <laughs>